do I have a higher risk of getting coronavirus simply because I have sleep apnea? Let me repeat that question again, all right? I've been getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of patients asking the same questions, which is a legitimate question. Do, am I at a higher risk of getting coronavirus, the COVID-19, um, because I have sleep apnea? Well, I want to give you the most useful answer, right? Is to go to CDC's website. And I want to show you how to answer this question, right? The most, the most uh, realistic way to do it is this. Come here to the search and you say, see, so we're dealing, everything we type here is related to coronavirus, right? All right, now just type sleep apnea and hit search. And it says sheep. <laughs> so the answer is no. So far it's not showing that, right? Then how about CPAP machine? No, and actually, actually, let me come back here. Let me go back one more time in reference to coronavirus and type CPAP. Again, no. So this here, they're talking about using it as a, uh, as a method of resuscitation, as one of the modalities. But that's not what is useful to you. Let me show you what is more useful to you. Come to this part here that says how to protect yourself. Click this. And then on the left-hand side, I want you to come down and, and please read all of these things, okay? They apply to you and me. Frequently asked questions. And then you can type higher risk. And then you see here it says higher risk. Click that. And as you can see, it does not mention sleep apnea. However... However, this is important. A huge population of people who use, uh, who have sleep apnea, belong in one of these categories. So now what? Right? The most up to date, and here they tell you to, is to talk to your doctor. It doesn't mean that you'll get it. But if you do have some symptoms that are similar to COVID-19, right? Then call your doctor and they will inform you what to do next. Let me go back here. What about um, underlying conditions? Again, I want to show you something. What about underlying medical conditions that are not included in the list? Take steps to protect yourself and others. Let's say if you do might have it. The, my best advice to you on this is, is this, okay? Take me, for example, for example, you know, if I had the flu and I'm sharing, and I use a machine myself, right? I am at risk of passing my germs on to my wife who share the same master bedroom as me. One or two things has to happen. Either I move out of the room to the spare bedroom with my BiPAP machine, right? Or she needs to move out. Why? Because of two things. One, in the CPAP mask, in the uh, every CPAP mask has tiny, tiny holes where air will leak out for carbon dioxide to vent out. Well, those aerosol droplets you know, which has the viruses in it, can easily come out of there, and now I can spread it on to my wife. Also, the second reason is when I shift around in bed, invariably I am going to knock the mask off my face. Right? So, what would happen? That creates a leak, and then I can spread it further. So if you have any one of those symptoms, any of the COVID-19 symptoms you think you might have, first thing to do is call your physician, right? And number two, isolate yourself. Dedicate a bedroom just for yourself. And if you have, a spare, if you have more than one bathroom, dedicate that one bathroom 
for you only or for the person who you suspect in your family member who has it okay I'm going to show you another video soon um, that will explain to you how to what the manufacturer's guidelines are in relations to cleaning your CPAP machine with COVID-19 okay bye